Hey, I'm Jared Kalish, here to demo the PF50T, a new amp from Ampeg. Really, really cool amp. Uh, I think it's got a lot of applications for you know, both live use and in the studio. Uh, so we're going to dive in and take a look at some of the features here. And uh, I'll also try to give you three looks, uh, one slap, kind of just what you heard, uh, also a little bit of picking and some finger style too. So one of the cool things about this um, that you notice, it's got tubes. So kind of a revisit um, to Ampeg's uh, tube history, gives you that vintage feel. Uh, but it's in a really small, lightweight package. This thing actually weighs in at just over 19 pounds, so still very portable. Um, you know, no need to lug around these giant tube heads anymore to get that same kind of tone, which is really nice. Uh, I know a lot of us remember, you know, bringing these giant cabinets and giant heads to the gig, but you know, with this thing, small frame, nice and light, and still sounds great. You might notice that I don't have a cab with this thing, which is really cool because it actually has a built-in power soak, which is really important. Uh, you know, if you're in the studio, you don't have to have uh, you know, the worry about connecting a cabinet to it to, you know, mess with the tubes. You just got to make sure that it's set to the 8 ohm setting and you'll be good to go. So as you can see, kind of, you know, typical Ampeg uh, feature set here. You do have a separate gain and volume knob. Um, you do have the uh, typical Ampeg ultra high, ultra low buttons. Um, gives you a nice little boost on the low end and, and the high end. A little bit more of a scoop sound. So uh, I can definitely urge you to kind of mess around with the interaction between the ultra high, ultra low, and the rest of the EQ settings here. Um, typical Ampeg frequency on uh, or frequency select on the mid range, you do kind of have the ability to you know sweep where that's going to be and cut and boost uh, depending on what sound you're looking for. Um, the tube complement pretty standard with this. You do have two 12AX7s uh, in the pre-section with a 12AU7 and then two 6V6s for the power. Um, one of the cool features, as I mentioned before, you do have a direct out on here that doesn't need a cab connected to it, so you can go right into your DAW, right into your uh, recording device, and there's actually two of them. You have one that's going to be from the preamp out, and then you have another one that's going to be from the power amp. So you can actually record both simultaneously and get two different looks, you know, maybe put a compressor on one and leave the other dry. Really just gives you a lot of options when you're in the studio. Um, so, you know, it's something that I've really been uh, enjoying and very excited about with this, uh, with this new Ampeg product. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit more here, uh, try to give you a little bit of a sound from the, from the slap tone uh, that we have set up, and then we'll move into some other tones that you can achieve uh, with the Ampeg head. For this demo today, I'm using a uh, Neck Through Music Man Stingray bass. We do have the uh, EQ all set flat and uh, the volume all the way up, so pretty clean slate to demo this uh, Ampeg head for you. So for this next tone that I'm going to get, uh, we're actually going to try to, you know, gain this up a little bit, maybe overdrive those tubes a little bit. This is more of that rock and roll, maybe punk rock uh, picking style, so uh, it will get a little bit aggressive. We're going to take the gain up, we're going to boost the bass here, uh, set the ultra low on, and then keep the ultra high off, uh, try to tame some of those, uh, those top end frequencies. Uh, we'll probably set the, uh, or keep the middle frequency where it is, that's, uh, you know, typical uh, rock tone for this. And uh, the volume control in this case uh, won't be affected. We are going line level out here. Um, but of course, that'll just adjust your overall volume. Overdriven, nice and chunky, crunchy. That's what you want for the rock. You know, it's got still a lot of bite on it. Of course, you know, we are using a big old humbucker pickup here. So nice uh, interaction with this tube head. So for this next tone, uh, we are going to try to get more of a jazzy kind of feel to this. Um, you know, we've already heard kind of like the funk slap thing and more of the rock tone. So for this, uh, we are going to back this gain down um, pretty far here. Uh, obviously, you know, with jazz players, you don't want to necessarily get all that, you know, distortion going on. Uh, we are going to take off uh, the ultra low here and kind of get just more of like a general setting, maybe more standard, everything close to the 12 o'clock mark. Um, I personally like to have the bass up a little bit to get somewhat of a scoop, but not nearly as dramatic as uh, the other two styles here. Uh, I am also going to switch the uh, mid frequency back to the number two position, which is uh, 800 hertz. <laughs> So this was a quick look at the Ampeg PF50T, a 50-watt tube amp, uh, new from our friends at uh, Ampeg. 
Um, you know, as you can see, you know, it's really versatile. These are only three examples of tones that we whipped up really quickly, um, but you have a lot of options here. It's great for small to medium sized gigs, and of course, in, in the studio, uh, it makes a great, great head for uh, really any application. Um, of course, if you have questions on this or any other Ampeg product, uh, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer. Mm -hmm.